Uh, just a bit of an update. Thought this was a little bit interesting. I stuck the uh, ferrite in there all by itself. It heated up so much it um, melted the Teflon base, but that was an interesting bit. I then stuck a uh, that half inch pipe around the ferrite, and the uh, the light here grew um, a bit brighter. And so I thought um, I already had a uh, coil round around the three quarter inch pipe, so I stuck that around that as well. And then as you can see, so we've got one globe dimly lit from the, I guess, Dallamorto bastardized config because the coil there is on the inside, of course, not on the outside. And it's at the top and not down the bottom. And then the standard, this is coming off the top of the primary coil which of course is just connected to the base of uh, the transistor. Anyway, I'm going to keep playing around with that for a little while. See what happens. Thanks. Bye. Oh, incidentally, I have tried measuring with a uh, scope, but um, it basically just goes haywire on my USB scope, and uh, uh, I'm going to try it on another computer, just to uh, get some distance between the computer and this configuration, because... It uh, just goes a bit mental, and um, thanks to uh, what's up, it's you, and also Butalugis and Znel for explaining a couple of different ways that I could measure, which I have tried, and I get a similar measurement. I get it at about 1.5 megahertz oscillations without um, anything attached, so no load. Um, how accurate that is, though, you know, who can tell? I'm getting that wirelessly through through coil as uh, it's you suggested, and I get a similar reading, although it's a bit more erratic through an AV plug on these scopes. I've all try also tried these scopes uh, as I think it was Z now suggested by putting them one on the uh, just on the emitter and earth the emitter, and also on the uh, on the collector, but. Um, yeah, the machine didn't uh, didn't like it very much. It just became difficult to um, monitor anything. Anyway, till next time. Thanks, guys.